Hi everyone, today you will learn how you can quickly create a histogram chart in Excel. Questions Why will you use histogram chart? What makes it more useful than other charts? Right? Answer is Histogram chart is the best way to check how the data is spread within a range. If you have large value range data, histogram chart can make it easy to analyze. Interesting, right? So let us get into it. For an example, you have this customer list in the column B and sales amount in the column C. You want to understand the sales distribution within your customers. You can use a histogram chart. You can find the sales amount of your customers within a specific range. Also, you can set and adjust your data ranges. Ranges are here also called bins. In this case, you are looking at sales amounts. You have specified this in a group. Here, you can easily tell 2024. 20, Customers bought yearns $10,000 to $5,000,000 range. range. You have four customers that bought less than or equal to $10,000 and one customer bought more than $10,000,000. Let us make this from beginning. Here is your data. You have the customer name and sales amount. So based on these, you want to create a histogram. Just select the data and insert the histogram. Boom! Excel automatically give you best fitting range based on your data. This is your histogram chart. If you want to adjust according to you, you can do that too. You might want to analyze the data in different ranges. You can specify that in the options. Just click in the ranges. You can use the shortcut key Ctrl plus 1. Right here, you can see it is set to automatic, but you can decide the bin width. It means the width of the range here. So instead of what is here in the bin, you can change it to, for an example, say $4,95,000 and press enter. Immediately, you can see that the number of bins has changed. You can also control overflow and underflow bins. Overflow bean means the highest point that you want to have here. You can change it to 10 lakh dollar for an example and press enter. For the underflow, you can change that as well. So instead of the default, you can change it to $10,000 and press enter. Change number of beans to 4. Your ranges look exactly how you want it. Now, you just active the data level. So select the series with a right mouse click and add data labels. Let us make them a bit bigger and make them bold. Now you can remove the chart title and the grid lines. Now you are done. And this is totally automatic. Let us say Muslim Fabrics bought $5,000 year when you are in the meeting. So if you add 5000 to Muslim Fabrics sales amount, Muslim Slim Fabrics comes in the $10,000 to $5,5,000 like $5, range. The first range automatically decreases and the second range increases. If you want to change the design color according to your wish, you can do that. Too. Just click chart design on the tab, then click change colors. You can see various options here. You can choose any color you wish. Also, if you want to change the chart style, click chart style from available styles just choose the one you like are you are you already using histograms for your analysis comment below and let me know how you were using it i hope this was helpful for you this is it for today i'll see you soon take care